Okay. So now in this in this recording, I'm going to show you how to um, do a couple of things. We're going to make the ball move automatically and bounce off of the walls. Um, we won't be interacting so much with it yet, but at least we'll be able to see how to make uh, you know how to tell the object to do something. Okay. So back to the object. I'm going to do a couple of things. When I'm going to add an event that when it's created, okay, basically this means if the ball appears in the screen, it's going to start automatically doing what I tell it because it's based on when it's created, okay? Um, there are other ways to, to do this too. In fact, I'll show you um, a different way we could do it. We could say that the ball should do this um, under other when the game or the room starts, okay? Or the game starts. Um, again, for now, I'm going to keep it as when the ball is created. Now, when the ball is created, I want it to just move randomly around the room. So I'm going to use this red, it says move fixed. This means that I'm going to tell it kind of which direction. I could tell it that it's only going to move up automatically. I want it to move randomly, so I'm going to choose all of these arrows except for the stop arrow. So if you notice, these are all red, meaning I've selected them. The middle one, which is stop, is blue. I don't want there to be an option for it to just stop. Okay. Um, then I'm going to have it move at, let's say, a speed of 3, and I'm going to click OK. So if I were to play my game now, this is the first time we'll see it in action. Okay, there's my ball. And it's doing exactly what, it's, what I said for it to do, but notice it went right through the wall. Any reason why it went right through the wall, uh, Valerie? Right, I didn't program it to do anything if it hit the wall, okay? So why don't we do that? And now, um, I don't actually want to program the wall in this situation. I want to program the ball. You're going to want to often think, it, I could do either. I could have it be that when the ball hits the wall, it bounces, or I could make it that when the wall collides with the ball, the ball bounces. It makes more sense to me, since it's the ball that's going to bounce, to program the ball. So another thing I'm going to do for the ball is I'm going to add what's called a collision event, meaning when it collides with something, and in this case the wall, and what do we want it to do if it collides with the wall? We want it to basically just bounce, okay? And we could keep this as not precisely and bounce against solid objects. If you remember before, I made the wall solid. If the wall was not solid, it would still go right through it. So I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to play my game again. Now it's going to get so much more exciting. And... Okay, very nice, huh? Anytime it hits a wall, it's going to bounce. Now, in theory, it's funny, both times so far it went down, it should be choosing a random direction, not just up or down. So see how now it's going a different way? Okay. So right now, my game, which um, I cannot interact with, has a ball moving around the screen, bouncing off of any walls it comes in contact with. Got it?